Her nails are so cute. Hmm. Is it her nails? Okay, ready? So this is what I wrote on the mirror for my pictures that I did on Instagram. And I just love it. We kept it up here all day yesterday. And now it's time to clear the mirror, darling. Clear it. It's so cute though, isn't it? I'm 31. Like what? That sounds so weird. I used my pink lipstick oh i should show you what lipstick it was it's from mac i don't wear it so that's why i used it it's the mac lipstick that i used yes that pink it didn't really like illuminate on the mirror like i wanted it to but it's really cute it did what it was supposed to do you know what i'm saying but i actually wore a pink like this in the pictures that i took with the big 31 on the wall but it's not the same exact color my mom had uh, the same pink in her collection and then she gave me this like a long time ago so thank you mac thank you janetta <laughs> all right let's say goodbye to the chapter 30 page one on the mirror <laughs> First year play, stepped into a team with a lot of talented players, and he held his own, scored his first goal Woo! last week. There we go. Yeah. Uh, improved a ton over the course of the year, and so our Rookie of the Year award goes to Trev. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> to go for a walk pushing Tori uh -huh. Hi. Hi. wait do it again Hi. <laughs> and y'all be out here struggling okay do y'all see that ash how, 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 how am I gonna be <laughs> how am I gonna be a nail enthusiast if my hands out here ashy y'all this just goes to show you how much my hands be in water. I was cooking, and then I used bath and wash my hands, like, and I just left out. Like, see what I'm saying? Ah, Ash, I need lotion. 
<laughs> Look at this one. Just living the dream, huh? Y'all have to do no work. Let me just put my hands behind my back. Not even pedal. While I push. That's okay. <laughs> Blow me, Lynn. Blow me. <laughs> oh, it's Hi. Don't call me. You're a little close there. Get in your lane, Slip. Get in your lane. Oh, boy. Yeah. What's up? What is it do? What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Looks like me and little Emma. Back with another video. What's you out here? Ah. I normally tell you guys to do dethroned. Not really, because we're just gonna see how long they last. We're gonna see if they if it lasts all day. What I'm talking about is I normally tell y'all make sure you do your nails at night because if not, you will be having them falling off left and right, and then you will be blaming the press on nails or the company, like oh they're not great, whatever. I didn't do my nails last night and I'm about to go out. I had two nails to replace. Well, actually, no, let me back up. I had one nail to replace and i didn't do it last night and then i was getting dressed and my middle finger popped off by the way we are in like week two with these nails so it was understandable but i didn't do my thumb last night like i was should have i did my middle finger that popped off when i was getting dressed today when i did apply these nails i used glue but replacing these two nails i did tabs because i uh I got, I got. I'm gonna be soaking them off tonight anyway. So I figured why not use tabs? Because if I use glue and these daggone nails don't come off, I'm gonna be mad. But I'm about to go out. Thank you, Jesus. I haven't been out in so long. Somebody help me. I needed to get out of the four walls. You know what I'm saying? Why am I yelling? Okay, I had to get out of those four walls for a sec. I am on my way to go get my feet done with my friend and go to the movies to go see Little Mermaid. I'm so excited. We are going to what is called I Pick out here in Maryland. And basically, it's like a fancy theater where you get to dine and watch your movie at the same time. You get a pillow, you get a blanket. Like I was saying in my last video, I ain't trying to fall asleep or nothing, but I am well rested and I would love to be comfortable while I'm watching, you know, my little childhood nostalgic movies. So, shout out to Hallie, because I already know you did your thing. I'm just about to, like, reconfirm that by watching it at the movie theater. So, yeah, I'm excited. It's such a beautiful day out here. Not too hot. Nice little breeze. Man, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when whenever you wear nails, you get a certain shape they start to round over time so when i was getting ready i had to re like square these babies up because they were so round i didn't like it and i remember when this company called young nails which i love very much had a youtube video and they asked i think on their instagram which nail shape lasts longer or what like which one um more suitable for your everyday lives like no matter what type of lifestyle you live and I think people voted almond which I think is correct like you know you'll never lose the shape it'll always stay almond square will start rounding at the corners and then you just get this weird shape coffin you're the same thing you just end up with this weird looking shape I wish I would have recorded these or I reshape them but yeah if you ever are worried about it I would say one get a almond shape or the other alternative just buy all your nails throughout the week I typically don't opt for almond so I'll just be filing my nails every week I also see a lot on TikTok and Instagram where they call the almond shape like last girl era or whatever and though I get what they're saying, but I'm like, you could be classy with any shape of nail. Like when you get short, square nails, or like medium square nails, those are classy as hell, not just almonds. So don't be letting the internet fool you, okay? 
do you even if they long as hell like i'm classy as i don't know what with these you know me okay <laughs> might be a little ghetto on this video but i'm just trying to make a point i'm classy no matter what nail shape nail length nail design for that matter i'm classy no matter what so i'm here to tell you get whatever nail style you want and do you and be classy or ratchet whatever i just i we gonna talk about that in another video the different terms of how you are and stuff we're gonna talk about that another time but yeah do you though okay i just wanted to come in here and check in this is basically gonna be another weekly vlog and i hope y'all have a wonderful sunday i hope y'all have a wonderful week all right y'all i forgot i had one more thing that i wanted to tell you so this is not nail related but it kind of is because i used my nail glue to mend back my sunglasses do you see that little tick right there yep my damn glasses broke and i glued them back together with my nail glue we back in action you know what i'm saying can't hold me down okay that's all i want to say okay bye <laughs>
be in the car and then rush into the bathroom, getting my hands wet and soapy. Now, my hands would have been dry for an hour, 45 minutes to an hour anyway. So if I needed to use the bathroom, it wouldn't have been a big deal. But consciously, I'm thinking I want to go. I want my hands to be dry as long as possible. So I used the bathroom before I left. I was in the car for 45 to an 45 minutes to an hour. Then when I got to her, um, got our feet done. So again, my hands, I'm not messing with my hands. They're dry. And I've also noticed that you don't necessarily have to go with ashy hands when you're doing your nails. It's just that you need to put lotion on before you do your nails and before you use the alcohol pad to wipe them clean. Yes. So that's basically what I did too. I made sure that I used the bathroom and I made sure that I put lotion on so I wasn't walking around in public ashy. Then I took an alcohol pad and I cleaned this nail and my thumb. And then I roughed them up a little bit, just a little bit. Then I put the nail tab, then I stuck that baby on. So I feel like at this point, I can ensure that my nail nails, my two nails are going to last me all day long. So I'm at the nail salon. My nails are dry. Um, then even after that, we're not eating or anything like that. We're not getting our fingers dirty. We're not getting underneath our fingernails dirty or anything like that. Even after that, this has to be an hour after I got there. Okay. So now we're at two hours. Then we had to drive to the movie theater, which was 35, about 40 minutes away from where the nail salon was because it was a little bit of traffic. So that's even more time. That's almost yet another hour. We're at three hours now. My hands are dry. Of course, we went to the movie theater called iPick and they serve you. They You can dine while you're watching the movie. So now we're eating and I still, you know, what I got to eat wasn't all like finger licking and, you know, really getting underneath my nails or anything like that. I got a crab cake sandwich and some french fries and we got um, some drinks and water. Again, still super, pretty much dry. We're at hour three or uh, four or five now. Then after the movie is over... Now I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> now it's okay. I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to do it, you know, kind of quickly, like soap, 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 rinse, 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 dry, dry, dry. Like let's hurry up. And basically all that to say, this nail did not start sliding off. I'm, I'm not trying to flick y'all off. <laughs> this nail did not slide off until the next day around one, two o'clock. Yeah, maybe like two o'clock when I got off work. So you can definitely ensure that nail tabs will at least last you all day. You just have to be conscious that <laughs> your nails aren't glued. They aren't acrylic. They aren't just gel. They are press on. So you have to, if you decide to wear nail tabs, you got to be conscious. You got to keep your hands dry. Got to keep your nails dry at like all costs. I'm not saying hold your pee where your stomach start hurting or you get a UTI or some shit. No, I'm just saying if you do it the day before, cool. Even as I say, when I'm like, do your nails at night and let it be the very last thing you do. The same applies when you have to do it the day of literally do everything possible then and let the press on nails be the very last thing you do i got dressed i you know lotioned i did my hair i did my makeup all that and it wasn't until like literally moments before oh eating if you have to eat before you go do all that first it wasn't until moments before i walked out of the door literally like two three minutes before i had to walk out of the door was when I pressed my nail on. So even in that time when you're in the car and you know you're going to be in there 30 minutes to an hour, just sit there and talk to whoever you're in the car with and just, you know, press your nail down, rub it back and forth, 
You know, I'm saying all that to say it lasted me all day. This is the thumb that I had to replace that day and it's not ready to come off yet. Now it's, yeah, it's loose, but it's, it's not ready to come off. See, it's still some sticky left. Just this one came off. Also wanted to tell you guys about my experience at the nail salon. Like I haven't stepped foot into a nail salon so long. Like I, I had fun. And when I got there, I was just like, I don't know what color I'm going to get. Like, I'm trying to stay away from white, okay? So when I get there, my friend and her sister are sitting there. And I was like, oh, you know, what color uh, toast y'all getting? Both of them had white. And I was like, okay, there's my decision. Like, I'm just, I'm not even going to try to stress. I'm not even going to try to be different at this point. Like, all of us are going to be white toast today. And it was just so funny because I literally was trying so hard not to get white toes, but I was just like, we, we're going to be, we're going to be twinning, tripleting, whatever, you know, I thought it would be cute if we got all the same, uh, nail color or whatever. So I thought that was pretty cool. The experience was cool. The guy was cool. The pedicure was cool. It was quick too. Oh my gosh. Um, they gave us regular nail polish, which I wanted because I'm not trying to be in here like losing my shit because I can't get the damn gel off. I don't necessarily want it to last long um, because I'm, I'm, I would like to press some toenails on my toes because I actually haven't done it since the last video, which was what, a year ago? <laughs> Jesus. They, they came out nice, but I noticed when he was finished, he put on cuticle oil, right? Mind you, my foot has been in water and you've been scrubbing and now my foot is dry it's pretty much ashy at this point and i didn't really notice it until we wanted to take pictures of our feet i'm gonna try to put it here it wasn't until we went to go take pictures after the movie that i saw my big toe was crusty dusty which is weird because i'm like it almost looked like dried up glue. And I'm like, he didn't use glue on my toe. Like what? I don't understand what that was about. It literally looked like dried up glue. But I think the, between the base coat and the cuticle oil, it dried up and it was just all over my toe. So I, while I'm sitting here, I'm going to clean it up. I thought it was going to get better when I took a shower or whatever, but that crust is still there. So I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Did we not get, you know, our feet moisturized because of the package that we got? I'm like, damn, y'all, that should be included no matter what. Y'all having people walk out here with ashy feet. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. My feet feel good though. It was definitely needed i'll probably go back in two weeks not get color but i want to go back so that my else can do it you know <laughs> you know us diyers i be telling you sometimes somebody else gotta do it because i'm telling you i hate doing my toes i hate even with personal nails i hate bending over like i got a fat belly and that shit hurt and i told y'all my back is not the same as when i was younger so you know, when I'm bending over like that for a certain amount of time, my back be hurting. I'll be hunched over like an old lady. So I would definitely recommend that if you go, ask them to moisturize your feet. I actually have, I got this from Ipsy in one of my Ipsy bags when I was subscribed to it. I'm not subscribed to it anymore, but it's called, Hey Honey, Walk the Walk. Propolis Foot and Heel Repair Cream. So I'm going to put that on. It says soften and nourishes rough skin. I already moisturized my feet from getting out of the shower, but I'm going to but I'm going to moisturize them again with this. Um I got some free products from Deborah Lipman. Ah, I was so happy when they agreed to give me some free gifts. I was trying to do some UGC videos for them, but they were like we're not doing any paid collaborations right now, but we'll send you some products. And y'all, they sent me a lot. I was not expecting it. But for right now, I'm going to show you the lacquer that I got from them. 
so I can clean up my big toe. You're looking crazy. Let me see what this lotion do to my feet. Like really get in there and get my cuticle oil too. All right, y'all. No, for real. Subscribe to my channel. And I really appreciate y'all, all the newcomers, all the OGs. Definitely comment and let me know your last nail salon experience. And let me know if you wear press on toe nails. Let me know what y'all want to see. Um, I have all types of ideas written down, but I want to hear from you guys. I want to know what's going through your brain when you watch my videos. Like, what is it when, that you want to see? <laughs> um, let me know if you're loving personal nails. If you're part of the gang. That kind of thing. And be sure to like this video so I know you like this one. Ow. <laughs> I think she looks better. Good night, y'all. <laughs>